Hey, I'm back with another video. In this video will be an update to my original setup and install Tailwind CSS and Views video. It got outdated pretty quickly with Tailwind CSS version 2.0 now out. I did put out a quick video for updating Tailwind CSS version 1 to version 2 for an existing view app using View CLI. You can check that video here in the top right corner. We'll start from scratch with a fresh install of views with View CLI. A couple of things you should know before we start. You should have Node and NPM installed. You can get that here at node.js.org. I'll be using VS Code as my code editor. And you should know a bit about Tailwind CSS and views. If you're on a Mac and need help with your web dev environment, I have a tutorial series on my channel to help you set up your Mac for web development, focusing on the terminal, Node, Git, VS Code, and a bunch more. You can check the videos out in the top right corner as well, and I'll post it in the description down below. Now, if you enjoy the content on the channel, please subscribe, comment, and like. Uh, every little bit helps the channel grow, and it makes it easier for other developers to find the content. Now let's get started. All right, let's head on over to View CLI. And here we can get started by going to the bottom, and we'll need to install View CLI. Now if you have it installed, you can check by going to Views dash dash version. And this will tell us if we have Views installed. Also, we should also check if we have Node installed. You can do that by node-v. I'll tell us if we have node installed. I already have Vue CLI installed globally. Don't no? then just copy this and do npm install-g at view slash CLI. Then install for you. I don't, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Now what we need to do next is if you have all that set up, we can go view create going to do view CLI. This will be our project. And this will create it within my projects folder here. I'm going to do the default views to no, I'm going to do manually here. Normally for this project, I'm not going to do some of this other stuff. I'm going to do preprocessor because I want SAS. And some of this other stuff I'd probably have. Uh, if it was a normal views application, but I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to do view 2. I'm going to do SAS, CSS, Dart, no linting, lint on save, dedicated config. Not going to save this. And have that build. I have finished installed. A CD into views CLI. I'm going to open up VS Code. That to the left. Okay, let's set everything up. Let's do an npm run serve. Let's see what we have here. This is our view app. By default, cancel out of that. Here's our npm packages, public folder, source. All right, let's get started. With Vue CLI, we don't need to create any kind of npm scripts, because we're just going to be adding it to the post CSS. With Vue CLI, it isn't using post CSS 8 yet. So we're going to have to go ahead and install it via install post CSS 7 compatibility build. And to do that, we need to do install Tailwind. And this is, we're not losing anything. It's just, I guess it's using some post CSS 7 stuff. So we can grab this npm install Tailwind CSS. And what I'll do here is I'll also make it dash D for dev dependency. Install that. Clear that. Go ahead and set up our source CSS file. Do that by going to public, no, not public source, assets. 
folder, all this CSS. Well, go in. Go back to the Cowin install page. Grab this, and this will get uh, translated with our Cowin CSS package that we installed. And we can check our install here. We installed Auto Prefixer. We installed this Tailwind CSS compatibility build here, Post CSS 7. Now, what do we need to do next? Let's go and set up our config files for Tailwind and Post CSS. What we need to do here is since we installed the compatibility build, use this MPX. And I'm going to do a dash P for. Uh, and this will build out our post CSS config file as well. Both of those have been created. Take a look at the Tailwind config. And in here, I'm going to add our purge. Create an object here. I'm going to do mode. There's content. Not mo code. Mode. Content. And in here, we need an array. I'm going to do public and look for all HTML files. And there's not very many. I think there's only one anyways, but if you had multiple, do it for all of them. I'm going to do source. Look for all view files. Now I'm going to do another thing. Since this is version two, let's add something new. Let's add and do colors. Add. Now we can extend it here with colors. This will give us a new color palette that they added. I'm going to do emerald. I'll do gray. And this one, I'm just going to replace. I'm going to do true gray. So this one will be new, a new emerald color. And this one will be replacing the current gray with this new true gray color palette that is here. That is in now Tailwind version two. Save that. Just to show some configuration. Oh, CSS, I don't think we need to change anything. If you had more plugins and stuff, I would say you change this to an array and just do all the requires for each one. So you do require Tailwind, but and require auto prefixer, but we're not doing that for this. So we'll just leave it as default. Let's go and add our source CSS file to our main. Assets. This is going to import our CSS file here. Now let's go and just quickly see if that one works. Keep this. Get rid of this component. It's going to do h1 div. I'll do. Sorry, I had to restart VS Code. Now where was I? Let's do justify. Let's do flex. Justify items center. H. And here we'll do an H1 with plus X, XL, 9XL for the new largest font size. Three, or actually X. Emerald, and we'll do 500. Okay, let's do npm run serve, and this is within our package.json here. Serve, reload that, and here it is. It should be working. Let's go and check text center views with Tailwind. It's working. That's how you set up Tailwind CSS version two with Vue CLI. And let's go ahead and create just a quick component here. And let's 
this, 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 all of this. Start main. Okay, so we're gonna start modifying it from here. We need a component. Go and create one file, and we'll do app main app view. Here's my component here. And let's add it. Uh, what do we need? Port app. This app main. Do npm run serve, see if it works. That's working. So that's working now. Now we can close this. Now what we can do here is let's do some add applies. So I'm gonna do this as I'm gonna call this server. Do an add apply. Paste our original here. Grab this one center. Our all of our text emerald, our wrapper. Let's go and create a card. I did large border, or just border emerald. Make it three emerald grid, adding ten. And if you have Tailwind CSS IntelliSense installed on your VS Code, it now supports Emmet. So we can do F2, or uh, we can do H2 dot, and I can do text, and I'll give me my sizes here for Tailwind. And this one I'll do H6, 6XL. So here I'll do. Let's go and check this out. And here's our card. A little big. Change this to six and three. Just to add a shadow. So I'll add a background color here. G gray. 50. So it's not white, white. And try 100. So that's how we set up and install Tailwind CSS with views. From a fresh install using Vue CLI. Just a couple notes here. We install Tailwind CSS using the OCSS 7 compatibility build over here. We use npm or we use the mpx uh, Tailwind dash CLI latest one to run the config. Normally, you would just run Tailwind CSS, MPX Tailwind CSS uh, init. If and when Vue CLI switches over to post CSS 8, you'll be able to uninstall Tailwind CSS compatibility build and install the latest versions using uh, post CSS 8. Now, we didn't go and build, so let's just make sure that works. We can go and npm run. I think it's build. That built, and we ended up with a 4kb file in the distribution. Look. And it's minified and uh, purged. Let's just make sure we can go and do serve, serve, list. And this is our uh, distribution over here. It's running on serve day. It's the exact same as this one over here. Just uh, built for production. I'll post this up on my GitHub if you're looking for the source code. And I'll talk to you guys hopefully in the next video. Hey, if you've gotten this far, thanks for the support. This will help the channel grow. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to click the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below.
To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.